Ever since Tesla came out with their own Tesla bot prototype, it has been constantly compared to Boston Dynamics own Atlas, and the Atlas almost always came out as the victor of most of these comparisons. Although the Atlas's capabilities are jaw-droppingly impressive, things seem to be looking better for the Tesla bot, which is actually already the superior one. How could the Tesla bot possibly be better than Atlas, and how will Tesla manage to maintain their lead over Boston Dynamics? Join us as we take a look at how Tesla managed to get ahead of Boston Dynamics. When Boston Dynamics initially revealed their breakthrough humanoid robot named Atlas back in 2013, the entire world was in awe. It could withstand getting kicked, hit, or even shot by a firearm while maintaining its balance levels, which all showed how stable, rugged, and durable the robot is. Five years later, the Atlas showed us how impressively it could traverse. Its movements were extremely precise and deliberate movements that were extremely fast, as it managed to run, jump, and even do basic parkour with little to no effort, completely flawlessly. It needed virtually no recalibration after each step or jump, and this all presented how truly capable the engineers at Boston Dynamics actually are. Most of all, it showed us how fast the world of robotics was evolving. A couple of years later, in 2021, Tesla announced that they would be making their own humanoid robot called the Tesla Bot. And sure enough, in a little less than a year, a semi-functional prototype was presented to the public. However, compared to the Atlas, the Tesla Bot's reveal was lackluster, to say the least. Its movements were far clunkier than the ones seen in the Atlas parkour video, and it looked much more primitive than what was initially promised to us. Granted, the prototype shown to the public was, in Elon Musk's words, a crude, semi-functional prototype that's far from the one shown in the concept, but still, we couldn't help but feel disappointed at Tesla for their underwhelming presentation of a robot that was supposed to be the most advanced one yet. Sure, it could use tools and it could coordinate its movements fairly well, but it still looked like it was decades behind the Atlas. What's your opinion on the Tesla bot? Is Tesla going to achieve what they've set out to do, or are they going to disappoint us once again? Be sure to tell us in the comments section down below. By the way, did you know that only 3% of you lot are subscribed to the channel? So if you like the video, consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss out on any updates in the future. However, Tesla does have a trick up its sleeve, and the perceived drawbacks of the Tesla bot might just be its key strength against Atlas. In fact, we believe that Tesla was in front of Boston Dynamics ever since they revealed the prototype Optimus bot. How could the Tesla bot possibly be better than Atlas? Well, the key reason for Tesla's superiority over Boston Dynamics lies in the fact that the Tesla bot is powered by an AI program, whereas the Atlas needs to be programmed by a human being so that it can move or function at all. You see, the Tesla bot's movements are slower and more deliberate compared to the Atlas, not because it's less sophisticated or optimized, but because its every movement was learned, not programmed in. The Atlas, as impressive as it is, isn't powered by AI. It's a robot whose every single move needs to be programmed and commanded. So all those videos of it jumping around, running, avoiding obstacles, and doing parkour were in fact precisely measured by the engineers at Boston Dynamics, and all of those movements were choreographed and pre-programmed. The Atlas functions more like a conventional machine, and less like a semi or fully autonomous robot that we've come to imagine. At the moment, the Atlas's functionality is virtually non-existent, and it serves more as an exhibition of the technological achievements of Boston Dynamics and their efforts in making a solid and reliable robot frame, and not a fully-fledged robot. On the other hand, the Tesla bot, which is powered by AI software, doesn't need any specific programming for it to properly function and traverse. The reason behind its clunky movement is the fact that it's still learning how to stably walk, pick up, hold, and use certain objects. Unlike Atlas, which has no software that allows it to choose the optimal way to traverse or function, the Tesla bot has a solid level of autonomy that allows it to choose the most optimal way of doing a task that it was ordered to do. The AI found in the Tesla bot is none other than the one found in Tesla's vehicles. The Advanced Driver Assistance System, or ADAS for short, has been modified so that it can be used in robots. 
Granted, it still isn't fully operational, and the ADAS version used in Tesla vehicles has numerous technical and technological limitations, as the cars have only reached level 2 autonomy. However, Tesla has been working passionately on updating the system and making it less situational and much more spontaneous. Their general idea for the Tesla bot is that it'll be able to completely autonomously observe, analyze, and then repeat certain actions that have been shown to it by a human. In essence, it'll be learning by model. However, Tesla has only recently started developing the Tesla bot, whereas Boston Dynamics have been working on Atlas for 10 years straight. This then begs the question, how will Tesla manage to maintain their lead over Boston Dynamics? Simply, Tesla will defeat Boston Dynamics by their sheer production output of the Tesla bot. The Atlas is a highly impressive robot. However, Boston Dynamics simply don't have the capacity nor the budget of producing it in mass quantities. Even if it manages to enter production, it'll most likely cost an arm and a leg, primarily because of how strong and overbuilt it is. On the other hand, the Tesla bot is going to be fairly affordable, which is due to the fact a much simpler design that doesn't incorporate an advanced hydraulic frame simply because it's not needed. The Tesla bot will complete mundane, boring, and even somewhat dangerous daily tasks instead of humans. It won't need to scale over fences, climb trees, or do any other stuff that Atlas can. The development costs of the AI software are also fairly low, primarily because it's already well developed and it's already generating a lot of profit because it's one of the key selling points of Tesla's vehicles. All in all, we do believe that Tesla can easily keep their lead over Boston Dynamics if they keep up the pace. However, there are a few issues that we need to address. First of all, we need to remember that Tesla isn't very reliable as a company these days. They've had enormous delays. The Tesla Semi was delivered after four years of constant delays, and the Cybertruck is yet to see the light of day, as the few pre-production models that have been seen in public had loads of issues. Let's not mention the products that were promised to the people by the company, like for example the Tesla smartphone, only for them to be cancelled and forgotten about. Oh, and don't forget about the fiasco reveal of the Tesla bot concept back in 2021. We can understand that Elon Musk loves his controversial publicity stunts, but disguising a human as a robot was, without a doubt, his most cringeworthy move to this day. Also, as impressive as the Tesla bot is, Tesla is still extremely inexperienced in the field of robotics. It'll take quite some time before Tesla makes a properly functional robot, especially since they've set their goal of making borderline sentient robots. On the other hand, Boston Dynamics have recently been bought by Hyundai, and they've had a much larger budget for the development and potential production of their robots, which could easily endanger Tesla's own potential. We'd be even more thrilled if Tesla announced a collaboration with other, more experienced companies. Who knows, Tesla could even acquire Boston Dynamics from Hyundai one day. Imagine Atlas that's powered by the same AI found in the Tesla bot. It'd be by far the most capable humanoid robot we've ever seen. Now that would be a sight to behold. But as Uncle Ben once said, with great power comes great responsibility. And with highly sophisticated technology comes the potential of imminent danger. As impressive as the Atlas and the Tesla bot are, there are also many concerns about their overall safety and if their development could actually bring more harm than good to humanity. If you'd like to learn more about the hazards of the Tesla bot and what could potentially happen if it fails, be sure to check out this video.